everyone, Toby from AbletonDrama.com here. I quickly wanted to show you where I'm at with my new project Connect Through MIDI. A project which is really easy to play chord, have them distributed to different MIDI instruments and create inclusive music sessions. You don't need to know much about Ableton Live. That's a version here which I created for Ableton Live. It's a Max for Live device. Um, which helps will help people who are new to Ableton Live and Max for Life to set something up like this. You even get preset sounds, presets, and things which will play automatically. So if we just want to have a listen here, so you can have chords playing and then just set up any MIDI gear which is playing MIDI notes. and create some nice music textures here with the presets already. And of course, you are able to play live here as well. So for example, if I play a few chords here and now create different MIDI notes, the live chords I'm playing are distributed over the different MIDI devices here, which means you can actually really quickly, and you don't need to know much about chords and about MIDI and about MIDI gear here to set this up. So you get indicators in this connect through MIDI pop-up window here. So for example, we're using the oddball here and I've set this up as an input here and I can make connections to where I want this to go. So for example, if I want this to go to play the bass, um, this is now playing the bass. If I want this to play the melody, I can just draw a connection from the oddball input here, my input number one, to the melody section here. So this way, it's really easy to set up things and to have things playing when they shouldn't be playing. So um, yes, the Connect Through MIDI project is a new project of mine. It's under development and I'm just gonna start to present this and it will be presented by other people as well from the MIDI Association on uh, different music conferences all around the globe. So if you're at Music China X or if you're at NAM, come to the MIDI Association um, booth and give it a try if you want to. So if you want to get informed about the development and when it's available, I want to test a few things out before bringing it to the market here. And you can sign up to a newsletter on connectthroughmidi.com, which will inform you and I can then let you know what the developments are and where this is going and about possible releases here. So um, yes, I think that is really interesting, not only for um, people who are working in music education and in, in accessible music sessions, inclusive music sessions here. This is really interesting for people who are into experimental jazzy combining things here uh, when a key player is playing some chords and you want this to be triggered by the drummer and all that stuff. To some extent, this is already possible via a Max for Life device of mine called the Sync Pitch Trigger. If you're not, um, if you're just starting out with Ableton Live, that can be quite challenging to set this up. So the Connect Through MIDI might be a good option for you in the future to set things up and have things a little bit more easier to start off with. Cool. Okay, so um, please stay connected. Come along um, to connectthroughmidi.com. Sign up there if you're excited about that or get in contact directly. And then um, I hope we will talk and uh, meet each other at some point playing and connect some MIDI together.